What to do if you have a flea infestation in your couch? If you have fleas in your couch, you want to take care of this as soon as possible before they take over your house. It seems they flourish particularly as summer comes, turning peaceful homes into itch fests. But before you think about turning your living space into a chemical war zone, you need to understand where they come from and how to get rid of them effectively. Fleas have a knack for sneaking into our homes, usually hitching a ride on our pets or clinging to our clothing after a stroll through a park or forest teeming with wildlife. But it's not just our furry friends or our own wanderings that invite them in. These pests can also infiltrate our living spaces via other critters, like rodents. Once inside, fleas waste no time finding the coziest spots to settle down. Our furniture, sofas, beds, and other upholstered items provide the perfect blend of warmth and proximity to hosts, making them ideal for fleas to thrive. Here's where the real problem begins. These pests aren't just lounging around, they're busy laying eggs in the soft fabric of our furniture. As these eggs hatch, the emerging larvae burrow into the deeper crevices and feed on organic matter such as dead skin cells and even flea feces, which is rich in digested blood. Here's a quirky fact. Fleas can consume up to 15 times their own body weight in blood daily. This high intake is essential for their reproduction cycle, but can cause severe discomfort and health issues in infested pets or wildlife. Just a little something to think about. And just when you think you've cleared the last of them, the resilient flea larvae spin cocoons transforming into pupa that can lie dormant for weeks or even months. These hidden pupa wait for the right conditions to hatch, potentially unleashing a new wave of infestation long after you thought the problem was solved. That's why tackling a flea infestation requires a thorough, persistent approach ensuring every stage of the flea life cycle is addressed to keep your home truly pest-free. Fleas are notorious for their resilience and reproductive capabilities. On average, a flea's life ranges from two to three months, but under optimal conditions, they can survive for over a year. This extended lifespan allows fleas to patiently wait in various environments until they can access suitable hosts. A single female flea can lay up to 50 eggs a day. These eggs are not sticky, making it easy for them to disperse from pets onto carpets, upholstery, and bedding. Without timely intervention, this rapid reproduction can quickly lead to a widespread infestation, turning homes into breeding grounds for these persistent pests. First, let's get something straight. Cleanliness is your first line of defense. Combining any pest control method with thorough cleaning, think vacuuming and vacuuming frequently, steam cleaning carpets, and bathing your furry friends, all of that will help prevent pests and your chance of success. Not only do you need to worry about pests coming into your home, but also being around your home or in your yard. How would you keep your yard well-maintained so that fleas don't like it. Be sure to keep the outdoors well maintained so that it's less inviting to fleas. Did you know that fleas can jump up to 150 times their own body length? This ability makes them incredibly effective at spreading from host to host or environment to environment. Clear them from your pet and they pop up in your carpet. Evict them from your yard and they sneak back into your bedding. So fleas aren't just annoying, they're a threat to your family and pet health. If you're noticing fleas, you need to start with a thorough inspection. I like to start by checking all the furniture, sofas, beds, you name it, especially the places your pets love to hang out. Maybe it's underneath a chair. It is crucial to figure out just how extensive our flea problem is because this guides our entire approach. Once we know where the trouble spots are, it's all about preparation. I always advise homeowners to vacuum everything thoroughly and wash any pet bedding on a high heat. It's all about reducing the fleas population right from the get-go. Vacuuming is a huge part of the process, especially if you're trying to get rid of this problem on your own. And I don't mean a quick once-over. You've got to get into all those nooks and crannies where fleas and their eggs might be hiding. The goal here is to physically remove as many fleas, larvae, and eggs as possible 
And remember, once you're done, seal that vacuum bag tight and get it out of your house to prevent any escapees. You roll that vacuum cleaner into your closet and leave that bag in there, you may reinfest your closet. In the pest control world, we have insect growth regulators, or IGRs, and adulticides. IGRs are amazing. They stop the fleas from growing into adults, effectively cutting off their life cycle. Adulticides, on the other hand, take care of the mature fleas. Pest control technicians carefully apply these treatments, ensuring every inch of your furniture gets covered without damaging any of the materials. Now there are some DIY items that others use to treat for fleas, like mint oils or diatomaceous earth or some other types of oil. I can't, as a professional pest control operator, recommend any of those things because we're required by law to only recommend treatments with chemicals that are labeled for the insect we're trying to kill. And frankly, mint oil isn't labeled as an insecticide for fleas, so it would be illegal for me to recommend that you use that oil or diatomaceous earth or any other product that's not labeled. So when you use one of those products, please remember to read, understand, and follow label directions. After the chemicals do their job, we bring in the big guns, steam cleaning. Heat is a flea's worst nightmare, and steam penetrates deep into the fabrics, killing off any stragglers. This step not only helps in getting rid of the current infestation, but may also prevent future ones. We want to remove all the organic matter that fleas can live on. Fleas can be stubborn and their eggs might not hatch for weeks. That's why follow-up is crucial. If needed, and in most cases, we will treat again within 10 days to two weeks to make sure that the problem is solved. Their egg cycle tends to be about 10 days long, so that's why we pick those dates. If you're battling fleas, remember you don't have to do it alone. Give us a call at Gillen Pest Control and let's get your home back to being comfortable and pest-free. Stay safe and see you next time.